What is up nerds? It is Reptile DIY here again and today I'm going to be showing you all how to make your very own low cost light up electro illuminescent back patches with interchangeable logos. So whether you're a cyber goth, a cosplayer, a wastelander, a raver, or maybe even a real life cyberpunk, these electro luminescent back patches are going to add an entirely new element to whatever you're wearing. So let's get started. So like I said, these electroluminescent back patches are pretty easy to make and relatively cheap. And I think my favorite feature about these back patches is that you can interchange the logos to whatever you want. So let's talk about supplies. So first and foremost, you're going to need some foam sheets. You're going to need some scrap leather, which is optional. You're going to need some transparency printable film. I also have some Gorilla Glue, which is optional. And then I have my electro luminescent panels. I'll be talking more about those in a little bit. I have a leather punch. I have a pair of leather scissors and I have some rivets. So I bought my EL panels online. They cost me about $16 a piece. I will be putting the link down below in the description. I'm going to be making a dual colored medium size back patch. Now guys, if you want to do a really large back patch, I would recommend getting four of these square ones and essentially putting them together to make a really large square. But hey, I'm just going to be using these two colors and making a medium back patch. So I sketched out a basic demonstration of what the process of making this is going to look like. We are essentially going to have a back panel, our EL, panels are going to be attached to that then we're going to have an outer frame panel that's going to sit on top of that it's going to make a pocket now the pocket's going to allow you to insert your translucent sheet logos and i'll show you guys more as we get there next up i just made a paper pattern of all the pieces that i'm going to need to cut out and this is how our el panels are going to sit on that back panel next up i'm going to take my paper patterns trace them out over the foam and just cut out my foam pieces now we have our back panel and we have our frame panel. Now this next step is going to be optional. Since I'm going to be putting my entire patch on a leather jacket, I'm going to take a scrap piece of leather and I'm going to attach it to the face of this frame panel just so it looks a lot more smooth when it's on the back of my jacket and nobody sees the crafting foam underneath. All right, now that that leather's cut out, we're just going to attach it to the frame with a little bit of Gorilla Glue and just let that dry overnight. Maybe you could put it between two books or some heavy objects. Now we can start the actual assembly of our back patch. So we're going to attach our EL panels onto our back panel. And I'm just going to use some double-sided tape at first to hold it down. When everything's all said and done, you can actually rivet your EL panels onto the foam if you want to. But anyway, this is what it's going to look like. We're going to have our clear logo just sit like that and then we're going to take our top part of the frame and it's going to sit like that and it's essentially going to be a pocket that the sides and the bottom are going to be riveted shut but we're going to leave the top open so you can uh, pull it out and insert any logo you want but before we go any further we're going to have to cut some slits into the piece of our backing foam just so we can uh, run those wires through the inside all right so here we go and um, like I said, we just have those EL panels um, attached with double-sided tape. If you want, you can rivet those on at this point, or you could just leave it with the uh, double-sided tape for now. But our next step is going to be actually riveting on the entire frame panel on. Now when I do this, I'm going to rivet every other space, and I'm going to leave a blank space so I can actually rivet the entire panel, the entire patch, onto my jacket when I'm all done. So we got our holes punched, and next up is just to rivet those things on. And one thing I'm going to point out right now is that we are not going to be riveting the top. Like I said, this is going to be a pocket. So this top one, there's going to be rivets, but the rivets are only going to go through the frame panel. It's not going to go all the way through both panels. It's going to give the illusion that everything is riveted shut, but in reality, you can open up that top panel and just insert and pull out any logos you want. And here's a rough demonstration of how it's all going to work. Just like that. See the pocket? All right. As you can see, I left some blank spots. This is where I'm actually going to rivet the entire patch panel onto the jacket. That's why I left those sides blank and some blank spots on the bottom. That way it's just really easy just to attach straight to the jacket. Now before you start riveting your panel onto the jacket, you're going to have to cut some slits in your jacket so you can run those wires to the inside of your jacket. I'm just going to use an X-Acto blade and just make really small incisions. And here we are. We can see our wires ran to the inside of the jacket. Our next step, all we have left to do is to rivet this panel onto our jacket. Super, super easy. 
And there we go. We have our entire finished patch panel riveted onto the jacket. These wires I just ran inside the jacket and I actually put the battery packs inside my pocket so I have easy access to them. But now these battery packs just run off two AA batteries. They have three different light settings. They have solid lights, strobe lights, and flashing lights. So that's pretty much it for the construction. Like I said, this is a super, super simple process. So now let's talk about actually making the logos. Like I said, you're just gonna use that printable see-through film. One thing to remember is that whatever your logo is, you're gonna want the background to be black and you're gonna want the insides to be white when you print it off. Now, if you don't have a printer at home, you can go to a print shop and just have them print it off for you. Now, alternatively, if you don't have a printer and you're a cheap ass, you can just take your printable film, tape it to your computer screen, size the image you want, go over that image with a Sharpie, and once you're all done tracing that out with a Sharpie, you want to hit up that uh, printable film with some black acrylic paint or just whatever black paint you got, and it's just super, super easy and a lot cheaper that way, you know? But if you have a printer, absolutely utilize that. So here's our finished electroluminescent back batch with interchangeable logos. Like I said, it's pretty easy to make. And honestly, this is my first attempt at making this. This is more of a prototype in my opinion. I've been wearing it for a few months. It's held up pretty well. But I would recommend if you are planning on wearing this like to shows, to clubs, to concerts, or even gonna wear this every day, I would replace the craft foam and just use all leather panels instead. It's gonna be a lot more sturdy. Now, if you're gonna be making this as a cosplay or just something you wear occasionally, those craft foam panels are gonna be just fine. I really liked the way this entire project turned out. But originally I wanted to use flexible OLCD screens so I could play actual videos and maybe GIF files on my jacket. Those screens are definitely out of my price range, but I'd love to see one of you guys go ahead and use that idea. Also guys, if you make your own version of this EL patch panel, I'd love to see it. You can reach me on Instagram at reptile underscore Kodaya. And while you're at it, check out my numerous other tutorials. Until next time, see you later nerds.